happy friends welcome back to my channel creative art i am nilima and in today's tutorial we are going to make this beautiful and colorful resin night lamp this is how it looks when it is lit in light and this is how beautiful and glowing this night lamps look when the lights are turned off this resin night lamp is made with the same resin and the same mold as we used in our previous video just this time we are going to add some extra fairy lights in this resin mold so that we can get this beautiful and glowing lamp so friends do watch the complete video to make this beautiful resin night light yourself and do subscribe to creative art for more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon so you don't miss any recent updates on any art form now let's quickly check out all the materials for this DIY, first of all, we are going to need Expo Art Resin, which is from Little Birdie. It is said to be food grade once fully cured. Next, for this art piece, I want the pigments to be transparent but colorful at the same time. So for this, we are going to need mica powder. So there are six different colors of mica powder available from Little Birdie. First is mellow yellow. Second is pearly dust, third is rose dust, lavender dew, aqua dust and coral crush. So these are all the six different colors of mica powder which I'm going to use for this DIY. Other than that, there is one alternate option that if you don't get mica powder of your favorite choice of color, you can also buy these beautiful metallic heart glitters. I currently have red metallic heart glitters and golden heart metallic glitters. So this is one alternative that you can use instead of mica powder for the same DIY. And the next important thing we are going to need for this DIY is the resin silicone mold. And this is how it looks from both the sides. Once the resin is cured, this will be the front face. An electronic weighing machine for measuring the resin and a flaming torch for popping out all the bubbles. Little Birdie Expo Art Resin can also be measured without an electronic weighing machine because this resin can also be measured just by volume. That means you can use a measuring spoon like this one for measuring the Expo Art Resin. You simply have to take two spoons of clear resin and one spoon of hardener, mix it very well and you get the same consistency with the weighing machine. Other than that, we are going to need a few ice cream sticks and silicone cups or paper cups for mixing the resin list of all these materials will be mentioned in the description box below with their links from where you can buy them online so now let's start the tutorial friends now first of all we will start by measuring resin so here I'm putting my cup tear the scale to zero for this DIY in all we are going to need 90 grams of resin which is the total capacity of our resin mold so I'm going to divide it by three and pour three different times like three different layers of resin in this mold. So our first layer will contain 30 grams of resin for which I have poured 20 grams of clear resin here and then I'm going to add 10 grams of hardener in the same container which will in all make it 30 grams of resin. You can also measure the itsy bitsy resin by using a measuring spoon in which you just have to take two spoons of resin and one spoon of hardener to mix. So now here I have got in all 30 grams of resin. Using an ice cream stick, give it a very nice mix till at least 5 minutes. Now in all I have mixed 30 grams of resin here and this is going to be our first layer. Now after mixing the resin after 5 minutes, this is how transparent it will look. The bubbles are slowly coming to the top. I have finally mixed 150 ml of clear resin. Now I'll gently divide the resin in all these small containers as you can see here. I'll keep a little bit extra. So this time we are going to use these five colors of mica powder. First one is lavender dew. Let me open. Second one is aqua dust. Third one is 
mellow yellow next is coral crush and here is a rose red and additional I'm thinking to use a red and we'll mix few colors to get green like blue and yellow now let's start mixing the mica powder with resin I'm going to use just a little quantity for first give it a very gentle mix Here I have purple ready. I just need to try these two colors whether it turn out green or not. I'm going to mix yellow with blue and let's see if we get green. So the problem is solved. We have green here. So by mixing yellow with blue, you'll get green. Now let's mix blue. So blue is also ready. I was feeling the purple looks a bit dark so I did mix a little bit of pink with purple. Now here comes yellow. Looks pretty. Yellow looks so pretty. I'll add a little more of yellow. Now finally this is how beautiful it looks. So now friends I'm planning to pour these four colors first and then I'm planning to pour the rest of the four colors. Keep a stick here so that the color does not flow in the other areas. Okay first of all I'll start by pouring purple. Okay then blue as you can see, I'm just pouring the half half amount of each color. Stick actually does work. That's a very good thing because I need to mix few more colors. In the same way, mix orange and then mix the rose color now I have all the colors ready so I'm going to pour red from the side keep just a little bit extra pink Now this time I have filled the mold only it's halfway almost a little less than half to the mold and this is how it looks. Now I will let it stay for at least 5 hours 4 to 5 hours will be enough to start our next step till that the resin will turn out in a jelly form where it will stop moving it will start freezing in a way and that will be perfect to do our next step. And now friends, finally after 5 hours to do our next step, here I have two different types of fairy lights. One is 30 meters length and one is 15 meters. This one has a battery holder in which we can input a battery and here is a button through which it will lit up. And this one has a socket like this which has to be input in like charger your mobile charger the same we have to input in it and the lights will turn on so this time i'm going to use this light so here i have unwind the complete wire and this is the one end of wire which i'm going to start inputting from one end of the resin in this way i do have a stick using which i can gently press the wire in resin So because the resin is in partially jelly form, it is a little bit much easier to press the wire in resin and it takes a shape. Just while doing this part, you have to take a note that you're passing uh, this bit of light to each end so that you'll get shape of each end and that's the main purpose of it.
now this is how i have input all the fairy light the entire wiring in this mold i have left about like 20 inches long of this extra wire so that it will be easy for me to plug in to keep them all inside and secured and safe currently i have taped on some of the areas but most of the areas are empty so that i can easily pour the resin so now friends in the same way i'm going to prepare the same colors of resin and then we will pour it on the same spot on the same color of resin in the same way as we did for the first part now in the same way i have all the colors ready and prepared for the pour so gently i'll pour one by one colors next is blue For now, I'll just push the wire in and then again tape that place so the wire is secure in the resin. Now this is how I have input all the fairy light, the entire wiring in this mold. I have left about like 20 inches long of this extra wire so that it will be easy for me to plug in. To keep them all inside and secured and safe, currently I have taped on some of the areas but most of the areas are empty so that I can easily pour the resin. So now friends, in the same way, I'm going to prepare the same colors of resin and then we will pour it on the same spot, on the same color of resin in the same way as we did for the first part. Now in the same way, I have all the colors ready and prepared for the pour. So gently, I'll pour one by one colors. Next is blue. For now, I'll just push the wire in and then again tape that place so the wire is secure in the resin. Okay, so now this is how our second layer of resin pour looks. The wires are still up, but as you can see, I have not filled the mold completely. There is one more part and one more layer we can do. So till that, let's get this part get dry completely for at least 10 hours so that we can pour our final part. And pouring this part by part, layer by layer, allows you to mold and shape all the wires inside it so that you can finally input all the wires as you want and it will be in one block in a one smooth beautiful block so now friends i'm going to keep it for at least 10 hours and then let's pour our next layer of resin okay now it's been 10 hours and the resin has got cured completely and you can see that all the wires the copper wires with the lights are completely fixed in this resin mold and this is how it looks so now friends we are going to pour the final layer which is the third layer of resin 
I wish I could have said you this point that the second layer of resin is not needed to be colorful. You could have simply poured first layer of colored resin then just some clear resin to fix the wires instead of the rainbow color resin and finally in the third layer we can directly pour the color resin. But now we have already done it so let's do it once again put the final layer of resin in the mold and now again i have finally mixed more 30 grams of resin which i will be pouring and dividing into different colors the process becomes faster and easier if you already prepare your containers like this with the pigments in it After pouring some more clear resin into all these containers, give a nice mix to all these colors in this way. And finally, we are ready to pour with all the colors. After filling up the resin mold completely, this is how it will look. I'm making some final adjustments using a toothpick, just mixing two different colors. So there won't be a direct edging, noticeable edging. Now this is how it will look when we have finally completed pouring all the resin in the mold. The resin is completely filled up in the mold and you can see how beautifully it is rising up but absolutely in the leveling way. So now I'm going to do the last step which is using a gas torch. I'm going to pop out all the bubbles from the top. We just need to do a light torching because there is also copper wire in it. So just do a light torching. and just this much would be enough cover it up using something so that the resin won't flow or any dust particles won't fall on it so now friends i will let it get dry let the resin cure for at least 24 hours now and then show you how does it looks okay and now friends it's finally been 24 hours our resin has got dried up completely it's completely cured and now we can take it out of the mold so to take it out of the mold, there is one simple trick you need to do is first start separating the corners from all the sides of the mold in this way. Okay. Once you have done that from all the sides, as you can see, it has about 1 to 1.5 centimeter of depth. So hold it and stretch it in this way so that all the mold gets easily separated out in this way okay just stretch it so that air can get inside the mold and it will be much more easier for you to remove it in few parts you'll get some stickiness like this for that what i like to do is i like to take a paintbrush and nail paint remover that is some acetone take a little bit of acetone in my paintbrush and stretch that part and lightly apply it on that part where it is sticking there is one more part which is completely stuck which is this part for this I directly pour some acetone in that gap then I'm going to use my palette knife and let that part Suck in all the acetone as much as possible. Rub it on the sides.
and this is how everything will come out now gently from one side start removing the resin out of mold okay I'll start doing it from this side just keep pushing the mold down 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 and wow it looks so beautiful from the other side wow let me turn it so this is one piece in which i have got a lot of stickiness on the sides because it can be most probably because of torching uh, when we torch the resin of top and you have this kind of small cavity in which the mold as well as resin gets heated up at a time while torching it can get stuck so in this piece i have got a lot of extra resin from the sides so now to remove these extra bit of resin i'm going to use my cutter and gently slide it to all the corners in this way you see hold your resin part and just gently slide it again so this is how you will get a smoother side you see if you have got a big piece gently cut it and then slide your cutter in our previous piece we did fill up the mold completely and so we did not get any kind of rough edges it was completely smooth and such a beautiful piece but for this one we need to do a little extra step to make it look finished i'm going to do it in the same way you see this is the extended cord from right here now let me show you how it looks when we light it up so now friends this is how beautiful our resin light looks when it is finally lit you can clearly see all the light popping up from different colors i absolutely love the red pink orange it is glowing so bright and beautiful in the center i did use some gold which is actually making it look translucent but i wish if i have used clear yellow that would glow much more i did use a little bit of different pigment as compared to my previous tutorial which was a really clear and beautiful so i would like you to say that use transparent and clear pigments to make this resin lamp so that you get more and more light out of it now let me show you how it looks when the lights are switched off and wow this is how beautiful and bright all the lights glow when it is dark i have turned off all the lights and you can clearly see how beautiful and bright the love shines i absolutely love it i'm definitely going to place it right opposite to my bed so that every night i lit it on and when i sleep i see only these words in my mind so friends do give it a try make it yourself and do tell me in the comments below what do you think about this diy and if you do like my videos friends please do like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching